everybody so in this video today um again i'm doing a basic apple but this time i'm going to do it in a watercolor effect so i'm going to use a lot more um watered down paint and we're going to build up glazes so you get kind of an luminosity of color shining through so it's going to be quite different from the other two previous videos of the apples that i've done um but hopefully you'll get some nice effects and you can again use that in another painting if you want to so let's get started so I'm going to start by just drawing the, the shape of the apple. So that's the basic of the um, outline of the apple. So in terms of colour, I have a phthalo green yellow shade. I've got a cadmium yellow light shade, a lizarin crimson, an ultramarine blue and a quinacridone magenta. Um, and I have a little bit of white just in case I go over some of my highlights and want to bring those back in. So I'm using the wet in wet technique. So I've got a pot of water and the brushes that I'm using today are actually watercolour brushes. So I've got a few different sizes, flats and rounds. So to start with, I'm going to just mix up basic colour so I'm going to put some water together and I'm going to start with some of my highlights so I'm going to mix up some bit of yellow I'm going to put a little bit of um, magenta in there just a tiny little bit So quite a bit, plenty of water. So wherever I sort of want that to go, I will place it. So you can, if when you add water, if the, if the colours, um, you can kind of let them bleed into each other. So you've still got that um, softness to it, if you like. So I'm just going to water down a little bit to kind of drag in some of the highlights. You can also use a little bit of um, tissue paper if you want to take out any bits anywhere. You can get some quite nice effects with that. So this is just to, to start with, is, is a little bit of a layering process. You're just building up the colours really slowly. We don't want to go in too quick. It's better to start light and um, build up than it is to go in too dark.
So I'm going to get a little bit darker as I go to the bottom now. So I'm going to add a bit more, some, add some magenta and some of the alizarin crimson. So I'm adding some water as I go along just to soften it into some of the other colours. So you get that kind of soft effect. Add a bit of yellow to the um to the kind of the purple mix. I use a smaller brush. Now what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to wet this whole the whole area of the leaf that I want to have paint on it. And then what I'm going to do is mix up a bit of the the green and the yellow. So almost kind of drop it in. So what happens is, is that it disperses only in the areas where I've made it wet, so it doesn't go over the sides. It takes a bit longer to dry, but that's fine. I'm going to add a little bit of the... Um, Quinacodon with the green just to get a little bit of depth on one side. So I'm just doing the leaf kind of give me a rough idea. Put a little bit of green in here too. Might even add a little bit down here. Bit of the yellow. So I'm just going to, I want this high, this area, to, the highlight to come out a little bit more. So I'm going to add a little bit more um, depth around the outside of that. So I'm going to use a bit of the red, the alizarin crimson and the magenta. And just wash my brush off and just pull over some little bits into it.
So now you can start to strengthen up some of the glazes. You can, if you want to add a little bit more depth, you can start to make the colour a little bit stronger. So it's best to start off with thin washes and start with your lighter colours and just gradually build it up um, rather than the other way. So you're sort of working in reverse a little bit. Pulling everything into this central area. Just a little shadow there. And if you want, you can add a few, you know, if you want to add a little, few little marks to the apple, you can do that. So that is kind of the, um, the basic of how you can use the wet and wet technique. And you can carry on building this up, but that's just to give you an idea. Um, if you want to, you can, if you want to go over the top, you can bring in some white, if you want to add some, bring out these, some of these highlights a little bit more, then you could do a little bit of a wash with some white, and then you can just go in with some of these highlights. That's the beauty with acrylic, is that you can go over the top if you want to. but you don't you don't have to anyway I'm just fiddling now so um, I'll, I'm going to leave it there because I could just yeah knowing when to stop I've shown you what I need to show you so um, I'm gonna leave it there but obviously you can carry on if you want to so that is the wet in wet technique and just building up layers of glazes um, and let's see I'm still going well I hope you found that useful anyway feel free to subscribe to the channel below for more videos, um, for more upcoming videos. Thank you.